As you are probably already aware, the Bufwang UV5R is the world's best engineered and most popular walkie-talkie radio. But sadly, a lot of people take it for granted. Because not only can you use this radio to talk with strangers or friends, but you can also use it as a scanner. A very slow scanner when compared to a real scanner, but a scanner none the less. So in this video, unlike my previous several videos on this exact same subject, I will very quickly review how scanning works on the Bufwang UV5R, and I will explain what all of the scanning-related menu items do. I'm doing it again because all of those other videos are too long. Right out of the box, it is very easy to use your Bufwang UV5R as a scanner. Just turn it on, put it into channel mode by pressing the orange button. You can tell you're in channel mode when the little channel numbers appear here. Then press and hold the scan key and it starts scanning through all of your channels. You sharp-eyed viewers may have noticed that I have removed the antenna from this radio. I have done this so that I do not poke out my eye during this demonstration. Normally though, it is not recommended to remove the antenna if you want to actually hear anything. After you press the scan button, you can see that the radio is now scanning through my channels. You'll see the channel names whizzing by quickly, as well as the channel numbers, which is the small little number right there on the right. The radio will then continue to scan until it picks up a signal. And what happens next depends upon your SC Rev settings in menu item number 18. And the SC Rev setting has three options. T-O, C-O, and S-E. T-O stands for timeout. If you set this option, when the radio hears a signal, it will pause scanning. It will then listen for several seconds and then resume scanning. It will resume scanning even if that signal is still there. It will just start scanning again after about 10 seconds. And you cannot change or adjust that 10 second hold time. CO stands for carrier operation. When set to CO, when the radio picks up a signal, it will stop scanning and it will listen to that signal as long as it hears anything. When the radio no longer hears the signal, it will resume scanning. And the SE option, which stands for search, will scan for the first signal that the radio hears and then it will end the scan. I prefer the CO option. With this setting, when the radio hears a signal, it will continue playing that signal until that signal goes away, and then it will resume scanning. While the radio is scanning, you can change the direction of the scan up or down by hitting the up or down arrow buttons, and you can stop the scan at any time by pressing any button on the keypad. While the radio is scanning, you cannot lock out or skip any channels on the keypad. It's just going to scan through all of your channels. However, if you have a computer and you use the Chirp software, you can program the radio to skip certain channels. In the Chirp software, there is a skip setting for each channel. Just enable that setting for the channels that you do not want to include in your scan. Also, if you are wondering how I got those names to show for my channels on the radio, that can also only be done in Chirp. You cannot enter channel names for channels directly onto the radio. Instead of scanning through your channels, you can also scan through frequencies sequentially instead of the pre-programmed channels. For this, we simply put the radio in VFO or frequency mode by pressing the orange VFO slash MR button. As you can see, we are now in channel mode as indicated by the tiny channel numbers on the right side. I am now in frequency mode as indicated by displaying of frequencies and no channel numbers on the right side. To start scanning through frequencies, just enter the frequency you wish to start scanning at. For example, 410.500, and then press and hold the scan button for a second. And the radio will begin scanning through the frequencies in frequency increments set in your step setting, which is menu option item number one. As you can see, I have my step setting set to 
10 kilohertz increments, but you can set yours lower or higher. This means that as it scans through frequencies, when it goes to listen to the next frequency, it will go up by that many kilohertz. If you set this too high, it might skip over a frequency that someone is transmitting on. And if you set it too low, it won't miss anything. However, it will take forever to scan through all the frequencies. 10 kilohertz is a good place to start. As the radio scans up through all the frequencies, when it gets as high as it can, in other words, when it reaches the limit that the radio is capable of scanning to, it will start over at the bottom, at the lowest frequency of whichever band or frequency range you are in. There are two ranges. They go from about 400 my gigahertz up to about 500 my gigahertz, and the lower range goes from about 135 my gigahertz up to about 175 my gigahertz. The exact range will vary depending on how old your Bufwang UV5R is. And the biggest question that everybody wants to know about scanning through frequencies is can you set the Bufwang UV5R to scan through just a small range of frequencies? For example, can you set it to scan between just 460 and 470 my gigahertz instead of the entire range? And the answer to this question is very easy. The answer is no. The Bufwang UV5R cannot scan through a specified range of frequencies. It's all or nothing. Congratulations, you are now a YouTube certified Bufwang UV5R scanning expert. <laughs>